fire here for this week's uh, snack attack, or not snack attack, I guess I must be a little bit hungry, sack attack workout. So what we've got here is I've got a couple different kinds of sacks. I've got a sack of potatoes, I got a sack of oranges, and I got a sack of apples. And you can choose whatever sack that you want to grab. Go ahead and grab that. We're going to do some standing work. Sure to get your heart pumping and get ready to go. So go ahead and grab. I'm going to go ahead and grab my sack of oranges. When I was playing around with this workout today, this seemed to work best for me. Plus, it wasn't as loud um, as this crinkly apple is. So I'm just going to set these out of the way just so that they're not. I'm not toppling over them. And then we're going to go ahead and stand up. So even if you don't have a set of something to grab, you can just grab something to hold on. If it has a little bit of weight, that's going to be better for you. But you don't have to have that. So we're going to get going, get your heart going a little bit for you today. Make sure that you stay tuned. Also, for the next couple of days, I'm going to be releasing a huge announcement of an opportunity for you guys to get more content and access to more content, not just from the YouTube channels, but from different areas. So I'm really super excited about this. So come back for more. So you grab your sack, whatever that might be, and we're going to get going. All right, we're going to start with some squats. So before we do that, we want to make sure that we're holding on to the sack. Whatever's comfortable, you may change how you hold it, but you're going to hold it right up in front of you like I am here. Notice that I'm going to bring my elbows up to the same height as my shoulder. Don't worry if it's curvy right now. You'll find your balance. You're going to take your legs and hold them about hip bone distance apart, so straight down from your hip bones. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a squat. We're going to bend the knees down, not really far, not a deep squat, and come up, holding the arms still. So you're going to just bend down and come up. I'm going to show it to you from the side as well. So what's going to happen is my arms are going to be here. You're going to notice by holding the sack, the challenge that you're going to get in holding that weight up behind you. As you squat down, go ahead and squat down a little bit lower, but stay in control through that whole movement, making sure that your knee is going forward of your ankle, but it's not going forward of your toe. It's going in that direction. You want to stay there. If you want this to be a little bit more challenging for your arms as you do this, we're going to move the arms with us. So what's going to happen is as we go down, our arms are going to go up. And as we come up, we bring the sack down. And we bend the knees here, bringing the arms up and bringing the arms down. Just do two more because we're going to add into this. Very nice. One more here. I'm so glad you guys are joining me today and hope that you get some good heart pump and workout while you're holding on to your sack. All right, so we're going to do a step squat to the side. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take the sack and hold it into one hand. So I'm going to take one hand up, hold it into this hand, and I'm going to step to the side and squat, and then come up, and then step to the side and squat, and then come together. Then I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to take the sack into the opposite hand, step to the side, squat down, and lift, and step and lift. Switch hands again. So you're going to step and lift that arm up, come back down. So to make something more cardiovascular, you give it larger movements. So you can see I'm bringing my arms into the mix to make my heart get more pumping. Keep going. You don't have to bring the arms into it. I'm choosing to do so. If you hold the arms up from one side to the next, then that would be enough for you and it will challenge your shoulders. In any case, we're going to add on to that. So we're going to go back to our standing squats like we did before. We're going to put those two together. We're going to bend the knees, bring the arms up, bring the arms back down, do three more here. We're just going to do four of everything. And down, because as I promised, we're going to be sure to get your heart pumping on this one. And one more here. Down and up. We're going to step inside, hold it into one hand, go out to the side two times, in one direction, and then up, and then two times in the other direction. Oh, I almost forgot to switch hands. Two, and then up. Last one here, and then up, go again. Switch hands each time, going down twice, and then one more, and switch again. Twice, one more right here. Very good, stay right here. We're gonna add into this a little bit more. We're gonna step back into a back lunge. So again, holding your sack. Into in one hand, or in both hands, I'm sorry, you're going to step back and come down, and then come back up. And then you're going to step down with the other side and come back up. 
Notice that I'm lifting my arms up and down as I'm stepping back with the larger muscle movement of me moving my arms higher and lower. It increases my heart rate. So if it's too tiring, don't worry. Just keep your hands out here or keep them down. The added weight of the sack can also just increase your heart rate as well. All right, so now we're gonna add that into the movements we already did. Starting with squats, we're gonna bend the knees here, lift the arms up four, then we're gonna do three, and then two more here, down and up, and one more here. Then we're gonna hold the second one hand, step twice to the side. So going out once, coming up, going out again, coming up, switch hands, going the opposite way. Two times, very good, let's do it again. Twice to the one side, and then up, last time here, and up, other side twice. Then we're gonna stop there, hold the sack in both hands, and step back into our lunge. Arms come up, and then lower, step back with the opposite foot, and lift, again back, and up. What you'll notice is you don't have to do a lot of high impact work to get that heart going. We're gonna add into this, we're gonna do a side lunge, but instead of a side step, we're gonna step to the side and lunge. Notice my hip is gonna turn to the side. My hand is gonna hold the sack, and I'm gonna let it drop towards my feet, and then I'm gonna come up. Let's do that again, same side. We're gonna come down, and then come up. This other foot turns out to the side as you do it. Just to make it bigger, you just make it grander with that arm. It creates that balance. Good, and do that again. Do one more here, then we're gonna go to the other side. So we're just gonna step and lunge first, and come back. Now, you add that reach down of that sack or that arm towards the foot. All of this exercise, no matter what it is, you can do without holding something. It just increases the challenge. This time, make it bigger with that arm. So you reach it out and come together. Three more and come together. Now two, and then one more here. Let's alternate the side. So we're gonna step and reach, come together. Other side, step and reach. Switching hands each time. If you have something with any little bit of weight in your hand, like the Saturday, you're gonna start feeling your heart moving or pumping a little bit more. I'm a little bit out of breath. One more here, and then we're gonna add that whole series together. So we're gonna start in the center, holding the sack in front, starting with the squat, ready? Let's go down four times only, and lift, letting the arms come back up towards the ceiling as you go. Two more, and then one more here. Very good. Lunging to the side, or not lunging, stepping. Two steps to the side, one more, stepping together, switching hands, going the other way two times. See how I'm moving my arms? What I'm doing is I'm increasing my heart rate with every movement I'm doing with my arms. I'm also increasing the challenge of my strength by using something that's weighted. Very nice, I'm gonna lunge back. So both hands hold, I'm gonna lunge and step back, come up, lunge and step back, come up again, lunge and step back, and lift, one more here. Then we're going to lunge to the side. Hand holds in the opposite hand. We reach and come back, switch side. Reach and come back. And we reach down and come back. And we reach down and come back. Thanks guys so very much for joining me today for our sack attack cardio workout where you grab your sack and hopefully you got your heart pumping. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.